What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and I'm a security analyst and college student. And this video is gonna be the next cybersecurity home lab installment. Today, we're just gonna be going over installing the Splunk uh, server, but just to kind of go over what we've done so far. So we started with the project introduction, going over the topology and the project scope, and then we also went ahead to configure PFSense for our firewall, and then we configured Security Onion for our security monitoring, log management, and IDS, and then we configured Kali Linux for attack, and then we configured uh, some PFSense interfaces and firewall rules, and then we built a, 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 a domain controller and uh, for our Active Directory environment, and then we added a user to the Active Directory domain. So now, what we're going to be doing is, like I said, we're going to be building a Splunk lab. So essentially, we're going to be um, installing Splunk on a Ubuntu server. So this is a, a fairly easy process, and I'm going to be going over the process in this video. So um, over here at cybersecurity.com in uh, let me go over here. So over here at cyber, cybersecurity.com, if we go over to the resources section and we head over to labs, right here, you're going to see building a cybersecurity home lab and it will take you to this page. So I already have the page up on this other tab. So you have to scroll all the way down. You're going to see installing Splunk on the Ubuntu server. Um, I just recently updated the blog to have this portion of the lab. So you know, like I say, Splunk is one of the most widely used sims in the cybersecurity industry, and Splunk essentially aggregates logs and data sets from various data sources and correlates all of that information for easy searching, parsing, and indexing. So if you want to learn more about Splunk, you can check out our, our resources. Um, you can check uh, my blog on Splunk Fundamentals 1 um, about my experience with the course. You can also uh, look at my experience with the Splunk course, certified user certification, if you're, using, uh, if you're looking to take that certification. I also did a video about um, how I passed the Splunk Core Certified User, so you can also check it out here. I'll leave a link to all of these resources in the description. But with all of that said, let's just dive right into our configuration. So like I said, we're going to be using a Ubuntu server uh, for our Splunk instance. So um, here's a link to download the Ubuntu server. I'll also leave that in the description. So when you get over here, um, just click on the manual server installation and then download Ubuntu server. So I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to head over to my vmware workstation pro so let's change the screen here we are let me close this all right so of course create a new machine and then we'll click next and we'll browse to our ubuntu server and then this folder right here and then we'll click next and full name so i'm just going to say day cyberworks and the username is going to be day cyberworks password it's going to put in a password um and then confirm the password and then next and then the virtual machine name i'm going to name the virtual machine splunk you can name it sim or something like that but i'm just going to name it splunk so click next uh so i recommend having like a minimum of like 80 gigabytes um for this but i'm going to be putting like 100 gigabytes for this machine so store virtual disk as a single file click next and customize hardware um, we're going to leave this NAT adapter but we're also going to add a another adapter which is going to be on so we're going to add this to vmnet 6 which is the configuration we had for our Splunk server um, we're going to confirm that in a second but first we'll remove this USB controller Remove the sound card and also remove the printer. All right, so that is that. Close that and then, uh, yeah, we'll just say power on this virtual machine after creation. So finish. But let's quickly check our PFSense and kind of confirm um, that Splunk interface once again. So here in PFSense, you're going to see, excuse me, okay. So here in PFSense, you're going to see Splunk is option four, which is virtually. VMNet 6. So let's go back to our Splunk server. All right, so this is our Ubuntu server. Um, it's a fairly easy process to configure this server um, and it would take a, a little bit of time, but uh, like I said, it's a, very, it's a fairly easy process. Um, if you get to a place where my setup is going faster than yours, you can definitely pause the video and then join me after yours as caught up to where it is at. So I'm just gonna skip over to the next stage of the video. All right, so here, we're just going to click enter for English and then enter and then enter. Uh, we don't 
want to configure a proxy so just enter enter and yes use an, use an Atari disk so scroll all the way down and then undone we'll click enter and then we're not going to change anything here so click enter select and continue we will begin the installation process yes continue alright so your name is day cyberworks server name is Splunk so we pick a username so I'll say day cyberworks and a password confirm the password alright and enter and yes we want to install OpenSSH server so click enter on that um, and then scroll the way down to done and click enter and here really depending on if you choose you can you know choose to have all of the have any of the services you want but I'm gonna scroll the way down to done and then enter and then this will start the installation and then it would prompt us to reboot the machine and then we'll go on from there all right so now we are prompted to reboot so we'll click reboot now all right so our Splunk machine is restarted and it is prompting us to log in so we will log in with our credentials so they cyberworks and password is all right there we go so we're logged in to our Splunk instance so I'll be installing the Ubuntu desktop graphic graphical user interface on the server but it doesn't change the fact that it is a server it's just gonna have the front end of Ubuntu desktop so uh, we're gonna be using task cell to do this so first thing I want to do is install task cell so sudo apt install task cell and then we'll put in a password all right so we'll say yes and this will download task cell so task cell allows us install a graphical user interface on something like a Ubuntu server so now we want to select the Ubuntu desktop so sudo app sudo task cell task cell install Ubuntu dash desktop uh, they have a variety of options you can use their different desktop or um, interfaces you can use but I'm personally gonna be using the Ubuntu desktop so enter so this is gonna take a, a bit a little bit of time so um, I will go over the installation process but you might have to pause the video um, some in some places uh, but yeah just once you go through this installation you, it's gonna ask you to reboot so after going through this installation we're gonna reboot the VM and then we will officially install Splunk on the server alright so now that uh, this package has been installed we will now re we'll reboot our server so simply type in the reboot command and it will restart our server and then now we can have a graphical user interface uh, the Ubuntu desktop graphical user interface and then uh, we can go ahead to install Splunk on this server alright looks like our graphical interface has been completed so now we can sign in just like we were signing in a normal Ubuntu desktop but it's still Ubuntu server and what we're going to be doing now is to be installing Splunk on the server so we're just going to go next uh, no don't send system info so click next and next and done and so I want to add the terminal to this so add this to the favorites all right cool so we have all that set up next thing we want to do go to our web browser and here in our web browser we head over to splunk.com And over here in Splunk.com, we'll head over to Free Splunk. Uh, say disable. All right. So here, if you don't have an account, you will need to create an account. If you do have an account, you all you have to do is log in. So I will log in, and then I'll move on to the next stage of the video. All right. So now that I'm signed in here in Free Splunk, you see free trials and downloads, and then you can scroll to 
actually so you scroll over to here in Splunk Enterprise and then download free 60 day trial and click on Linux because we're using a Linux server and then you can download the .tgz file so click download now and it will start the download so we'll save a file okay and it's gonna take up some time so I'll skip over to the next stage of the video all right looks like our download is complete so we'll head over to our terminal and go to our downloads directory and here we can see that Splunk download so we have to untar the file so we use the command tar x v z f and the Splunk file enter all right so after that is done we will navigate to the Splunk slash bin directory so let's first of all see okay so we have the Splunk directory right here as we can see Splunk and then we head over to that directory and here we can see the bin directory so head over to the bin directory as well all right so now I want to start the Splunk instance we use the command period forward slash Splunk start enter and we just scroll all the way down with this and then do you agree with the license say why which is yes and then enter administrator username so I'm gonna say day cyberworks and then enter a password so it has to be eight uh, eight digits so confirm the password All right. All right. So the Splunk web interface is now available at HTTP colon slash slash Splunk colon 8000. So we can head over to our browser and nav actually navigate to that directory. So HTTP, HTTP colon slash slash Splunk colon 8000. And there we go. So we can sign in with our username and password. So they cyberwalks and password and that is how you set up a Splunk instance in a Ubuntu server so um, this video you know we just went over installing the Splunk instance um, our next video is actually going to be showing how we will be sending logs from our our domain controller to our Splunk instance using the Splunk Universal Forwarder. So this is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to smash the like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe. And if you think this video is going to be of value to anyone, please be sure to share the video. Once again, thank you very much for watching the video. I will see you in the next video.